In this video, we'll discuss operating the Watson Marlow 323DZ pump. We'll talk about adjusting the pump head, loading the tubing, priming it, calibrating it, setting a dose, filling a batch, and recalibration. So the first thing we want to look at is adjusting the pump head for the size of the tubing that you choose. In this particular pump, we can use tubing from half millimeter ID up to eight millimeter, eight millimeter ID. We're going to do a filling demo with 3.2 millimeter ID tubing. And so the way that you adjust the pump head for that tubing is you open the pump head up, and hopefully these hash marks show. You find 3.2, because that's the ID of your tubing, and you take that hash mark and you use this knob to line up the hash mark with the ID of your tubing, in this case 3.2. You do it on both sides. And now your pump head is adjusted. This pump head has already been adjusted for this particular tubing, just to save a little bit of time. To load the tubing, you just put it over the rollers. You gently close the pump head. So your head was adjusted, now you've loaded the tubing, and now you're ready to go. So, before we set up a dose, we want to calibrate the pump. And it's important to calibrate prior to dosing. There's multiple ways to calibrate, but we'll show how to calibrate using the, the built-in menu that's in the 323DZ pump. Before we calibrate, we want to prime the tubing and make sure the tubing is filled so there's no air, to, which would um, throw off the calibration. You'll see when you boot the pump up, the on-off switch is above the power cord in the back, you have four menu choices. And I don't know if you can read them on the video, but it's dose, calibrate, manual, setup. You navigate through the menu with the arrow keys, and then that's your enter key. What we want to do is we want to prime the pump. So we're going to run the pump as a manual pump. In order to prime it, we use this arrow key to go down to manual. We hit enter, and we have a manual pump. We just prime the tubing by pressing the start key. And that's you can see there's no air coming out. The pump is primed. Hopefully you can read that on the video, but it says hit the enter key to get back to the menu. Hit the enter key. There's your main menu with those four choices. Now we're going to calibrate. And we'll, we'll target something like a 25 or a 30 mil dose. When you calibrate, it's always a good idea to, uh, well, let's step through the calibration menu first and then we'll discuss that. Use the arrow key to get down to calibration. Enter. It'll ask you for the head and the tubing. So what we want to do, if we, uh, if we want to do anything in the calibration, like a dose, we want to go to change. We use the arrow key to go from accept to change. Hit enter. It asks which pump head. Well, we know from the label on the bottom of this pump head that it's a 313. And you can do the same thing. You look at your pump head on the bottom. It'll tell you if it's a 313 or 314. 313, we hit enter. Which tubing? You can navigate through the tubing sizes. This is the, the millimeter ID. We navigate through, we know we are at 3.2 millimeter ID. We navigate to that, hit enter. It asks, do we want to do a calibration dose? We do. The way that you should consider doing a calibration dose is you want to do a calibration dose at the same RPM that you're going to do the fill. You also want to do a calibration dose that is the highest volume you can comfortably measure. If we're going to target a 25 or a 30 mil dose, we want to calibrate a volume that's higher than that. The reason is any error in the dose will be multiplied when we do a larger dose. When we correct that and then go back and do our smaller dose, the dose will end up becoming more accurate because we've calibrated a larger volume. So what we'll do is we'll turn on our balance. And I think this bottle holds something around 100 mils. Calibration dose, yes, we hit enter. It says press start. And when the bottle is close to full, we'll hit stop and we'll see what we have. Okay, that's pretty close to full. It says 67 grams. And for this particular example, we'll assume that 67 grams is 67 mils. The pump says, I think I pumped 66.8 mils. What did I actually pump? 
and use the arrow key to increase or decrease that volume. We'll use the up arrow. Let's see if we can get that to 67. Hit enter. Your pump is now calibrated. It's a single point calibration, so you don't go back and check the calibration. You now go right to dosing. So because it's a single point calibration, every time you calibrate it, it's going to erase the previous curve. So we've done that single point, and now we're ready to dose. We're at the main menu, we hit, we hit enter. We've got a 30 mil dose set up. If we wanted to change it, we would hit enter and use the up and down arrow to put in a different dose. Enter. The next choice in the filling menu is interval. Right now we have it set for zero seconds. Zero seconds means the pump is going to wait for an external input to do the next dose. That external in input can be pressing the start button or hitting a foot switch or having some other external uh, machine actuate the pump. If you want to put a number in here, what that will do is give you a timed dose. Let's say you want to dose every two seconds or every five seconds. If there's a number in here, the pump will ignore the keypad and it will ignore a foot switch and it will simply fill at whatever interval you put, two seconds, five seconds, whatever. Put in the number of doses, your RPM, if, and if you want to change any parameter, you simply hit enter, use the up and down arrows, change that parameter, and then hit enter the direction. In this case, we've already set it for clockwise. The next choices in the filling menu are start ramp and end ramp. The pump is instant on, instant off, but you can choose to put in a value for a start ramp, which simply means that rather than instant on, the pump will come up slowly to speed. And same thing with the end ramp. Rather than the pump stopping immediately at the end of a dose, it can slow down gradually. Those can be useful. The start ramp, sometimes if you're filling a a conical bottom vial, uh, vial and you're concerned about splashing, you may want to have it start more slowly. The end ramp, if you're filling a solution that has a low viscosity, uh, maybe has alcohol or detergent, and you're concerned about it uh, dripping at the end, you can put it in end ramp so it stops more slowly. That's one way to, uh, to stop that dripping. The second way is that next menu choice, which is the reverse or drip function. So if you do have a drip after your fill, the pump stops you have a drop hanging off and you don't want that drop to go into that vial or you don't want that drop to fall on your lab bench between vials, you can enter a value and what that simply means is at the end of the dose the pump will go backwards a tiny bit. In most cases start ramp is zero, end ramp is zero, end drip is zero. That's the simplest way to program a dose. The next choice is proceed. Once you get to proceed you hit enter. It says in case you're not primed press and hold start to prime. And we'll make sure we're still primed. We'll press and hold start. Okay, we're primed. It says primed equals enter. It means once you're primed, the enter key. Now we're at our dose menu. Let's turn our balance on and see if we actually do dispense now 30 grams. We'll hit the start button. And hopefully you can read the balance display. It says 30. We'll zero that out. We'll do another one. And again, 30. You can also actuate the pump with the foot switch. This particular foot switch, let me zero that out. This particular foot switch is already plugged into the pump. So we've done a couple of doses. Now we'll just hit the foot switch. So we're achieving our desired dose. Over time, you may find that the, the dose, uh, the, the volume that's dosed begins to drift, and you may want to recalibrate your pump. There's a function built in to allow that, so that you don't have to start at the beginning and go through a whole recalibration menu. Let's say instead that we've done our dose, and then it came out to 29 mils, and we would like to keep it at that target of 30 mils. We just hit the stop key one time, and a new menu pops up that says, unpause, restart, recalibrate, exit. We use the arrow keys to get to recalibrate, hit enter, and it says, I think that I've pumped 30 mils, what did I actually achieve? And you're going to tell it 29, or whatever was the value, but for this example, we'll just say 29. 
and then we hit the enter key and it tells you up and down arrow and enter enter now we're going to go to unpause which is just a funny word that means go right back to where I was and you'll see I had done three doses I'm right back to where I was now let's check we told the pump to root that it was underdosing by one mil or one gram let's see if it now doses one gram high Okay, gives the same dose. This is not the most accurate balance, but still giving the same dose. Maybe we'll try one more. We'll see. And now it says 31, so it adjusted up by one gram. That's a brief overview of the Watts Marlow 323 DZ pump. When you're finished, again, you can press that stop key, you can pull up that menu. Use the step to go to exit, or the arrow key to go to exit. Hit enter. It says, did you want to go to the main menu or you want to restart the batch? Hit enter at the main menu. You're right back to the main menu with the four choices.